Hi everyone, this video is going to explain how to use your family tree assignment in Google Classroom. I'm going to walk you through some of the slides and features and how you can use them for your own benefit. If you have any questions, please email me cburns at wsdfun.org and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hopefully this clears some things up and again, just ask questions before um, it's too late. The first thing that you want to do is open up Google Classroom and go into the Family Studies class. I posted this just in School Away from School. It's called My Family Tree. So you can view this assignment and look at the instructions. Um, or just go ahead and open up the actual document I've attached right away and begin. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through this and kind of explain the expectations here. All of your family trees are going to look very different and I understand that. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So I would love to see um, some online projects as well as some handwritten posters. Um, whatever you prefer, go for it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is just the rubric on Google Classroom and how you can use that and look at it to um, kind of get the best grade that you could. So if you just go back to the assignment and click down at the bottom, it says rubric. So within this section, it shows you exactly what you'll be marked on. So creativity is 10 marks. Reflection is 30 marks and effort is 10 marks. Um, if you're very curious, you can go through and actually click on these items and see how much points are worth what. So um, if you're ex exceeding expectations, your family tree shows extreme attention to detail, creative aspects and thought. Um, your reflections are well written, show deep thought went into your project and thoroughly explain your reasoning for the family members you chose. And then effort, your project demonstrates an effort was made to contribute a meaningful project and shows your understanding of family studies or the complexity of the definition of family. So again, this is just inside the assignment. If you go right here where it says rubric and this whole project is out of 50 um but it's it's mostly the reflection that you're going to be graded on this is an example from the simpsons just showing you what a family tree looks like so you have Bart, Lisa and Maggie, their siblings so they have this little line right here connecting them and their parents are Homer and Marge and then off of Homer we have his brother Herb and his mom and dad Abraham and Mona um, and Marge's family, her parents and then her twin sister Patty Salima and their daughter Lane. So the first page gives you the instructions here. I'm just going to read them to you. As we've learned in family studies, who we consider our family is vastly different than who people considered their family, say, 100 years ago. Many people live in foster care, are adopted, or live with distant family members rather than their immediate family. We consider friends, family, name people, uncle, and auntie who are not necessarily blood related. And more than ever, we are connected to people who are not blood related to us. Our definition of family has changed, and therefore, who we choose to identify as our family members has changed. Families are diverse, layered, and complex. This is a beautiful and confusing concept all at once. Since the new definition of family is not so straightforward, I want to challenge you to create a family tree based off who you consider to be your family. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if you consider some of your really close friends a part of your family, you would include them in your family tree. You'll have to be creative about how you put people in your group with the lines. It's not so simple as a regular family tree, but I'm leaving that up to you. So you're welcome to use the following PowerPoint slides to create your family tree or to freehand one with pencil or paper. Be artistic and have fun with this. I know lots of you love to draw, 
Um, so by all means, you can do this not on your computer or not on your phone. You can do it just with a piece of paper. That's fine. Um, the last step is to fill out the reflection questions on the last page. Projects must include at least 10 family members, including excluding yourself. So you and then 10 other people. Um, projects will be marked on effort, artistic contribution, and reflection. Uh, again, I've just given you my email and then my Instagram handle if that is the preferred method of communication. The next page, this is the template for your project. So this is what I'm going to show you how to kind of uh, change this up a little bit and actually go in and make your family trees on this page, okay? The next page is where you'll find the questions for the family tree reflection. You can, of course, do this on a separate piece of paper or on a Google Doc by just copying these questions down. Um, if you need to move the questions to new pages, feel free to do so or attach a, the Google Doc again. Um, you should be answering these in full paragraph. So uh, no one word answers. If you answer with one, uh, one word or one sentence, that's not going to be enough. You're going to lose marks for that. Um, they're just pretty straightforward questions. So first one, what did you learn about your family that you may not have known before? So did you look into um, your actual bloodline or did you look into just who you consider family? And did you think about um, the people that are really close to you and who you find important and who you do consider um, a part of your family? Tell me about that. Did you keep your family tree as a classic style using only blood relatives? Why or why not? So please explain why you chose to do one or the other. And your answer shouldn't just be, oh, because this way was easier. I'd like to actually know why or why not you chose one or the other. So please put some thought into this. Um, if, you're, if your definition of family is more the classical style, then do a classic style family tree. If your definition of family is different, then please do the new version of a family tree and tell me why you decided to expand your family. And then define family in your own words. So don't look it up. Don't um, copy paste the definition of the internet. What, you, what I'm wanting from this is tell me um, what made you consider people to be a part of your family and why are they important to you? So is your family uh, a group of people that are you're connected to because of community, religion, perhaps it's just who you feel a really sen close sense of bond to. Tell me why you define family this way. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go back and explain a little bit more about how to use this document. This page is designed so that you can click and move and write over everything. Um, at the bottom is where I would put your own name. So insert your name. You can literally click on this and put your name into the box. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this as a little bit of an example. I won't do this. Uh, whole thing, but just to show you how you can change things. So you click, you put your own name. Um, then you could put in your friend. Let's say I put Miss Leonard. And let's say I want her to be a part of my family. Um, then I could maybe ask Miss Leonard who her siblings are, who her parents are, who she considers a part of her family, and add in parts off of her, or I could just leave her as um, is and let that be. Um, I'm going to put in here Rachel, who is my twin sister. And um, off this line, usually I would probably have, you know, my other sisters, and then I could have my parents and their parents, etc. But for this example purpose, I would just say, okay, Rachel um, lives with her roommate, Luke, who is my friend as well. And I can go in and literally move these things around. So I could also go, mom, Heather, dad. 
Roger. And move these boxes around. So just by clicking on the box, I can move it around and put it anywhere on this slide to move it around. Um, as you can see, all these boxes can be moved, copied, and deleted. Go wild! So I can literally click here, delete these orange arrows and boxes because those are just the instructions, um, and move everything else around. So if I want to create lines, um, I can do two things. I could either right click and copy it, one of the lines that already exists, and then paste it. And then I just have a nice line and I can add that line in wherever I want and I can move it around like so. So my twin sister has the same parents as me, so I might put some lines um, in here. Or I can go and actually click and add a new line and that's using this tool up here. So I'd select that and I might, um, I might draw a new line. So let's say, I go like this, boom, there's my new line, and I can move it around again. So I might connect my mom and dad with the line um, and have other people off of that. Um, sometimes it's hard to do with the actual tree in the background, so you might want to delete the tree and um, create something and then add in a tree later. I just grabbed a tree um, off of this website here. Um, you always want to include your websites that you get images from so that you're not uh, val um, you're not going against copyright laws. But yeah, so this is basically how you go in and you can change things up with this document. I purposely made it um, made a few boxes in here so that you can move them around and delete them. Um, by all means, though, you could get rid of everything on this page and totally start anew for yourself. But do make sure you're always including um, the person's name and then the relationship to you. So Miss Leonard, I should say co-worker dash friend. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So keep yourself at the bottom and then connect people um, this way. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, about using Google Slides for this assignment. Uh, it can be a little bit finicky, I know. Uh, that's why I thought I would make this video for you to clear things up. The family tree assignment is not due until June 1st. I thought I would give you a really long time to complete this. If you have an issue with that due date, just let me know. I'm very flexible and can arrange different assignments or anything that you need. Just you got to communicate with me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Have a great rest of your day or night and let me know if you need anything.